Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists once found three oh 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 year old honey in an ancient tomb and it was still edible. What? How? Join me as we uncover the surprising science behind honey is eternal shelf life and explore other foods that can last for centuries. See, honey is made up of three main components, sugar, water, and enzymes. But that's not the case. Here's why. First, honey has a very low water content which makes it a very hostile environment for microorganisms like bacteria and yeast to grow in. When applied to the skin, it can help kill bacteria and promote healing. That's why archaeologists can find ancient honey and it's still perfectly safe to eat. In fact, some people use honey as a natural remedy for cuts and burns because of its antiseptic properties. In the Ottoman Empire, for example, people would cover fish with gold leaf instead of refrigerating it. And in ancient Rome, people would serve wine mixed with the blood of animals in order to keep it from spoiling. Just like honey, our channel never gets old. We always have fresh, new content for you to enjoy. So stick around for more. We have something for everyone here. Whether you're into science, history, nature, or just want to expand your body of knowledge, our videos are fun, engaging, and educational. So hit that subscribe button and join our community of lifelong learners. Together, we can discover the endless possibilities that knowledge offers us. Let's explore the world and everything in it. Just like honey, our love for learning is timeless. So stick around for more. Who knows, you might just learn something that will change your life. Yeah, that sounds disgusting, but it actually worked. The acidity in the wine and the high concentration of salt in the animal blood created an environment that was hostile to microorganisms, so the wine didn't spoil. You can actually dehydrate most foods and then keep them at a low temperature and they will last for decades. It might not be the most exciting thing to put in your fridge, but it's definitely one of the most exciting things to take out of your fridge. For example, there are people who have eaten 40-year-old cans of peaches and they're fine. There are even rumors that the Russian space program fed their astronauts 40-year-old canned meat during the space race. And nobody ever got sick. Of course, these foods may not taste very good after sitting around for so long, but they probably wouldn't kill you either. Most foods have a water content of around 60 to 70 percent, but honey is only about 17 percent water. This means that there isn't enough water available for microorganisms to survive and reproduce, so they can't spoil the honey. The sugar is what makes honey sweet, obviously, while the water content gives it its texture and consistency. And the enzymes are what helps break down the sugar and gives honey its unique properties. 3,000 years ago, people were putting a lot of effort into their burials. They wanted to send off their loved ones correctly with all the finest things in life, including for some reason, a jar of honey. Most bacteria and yeast prefer a neutral pH or slightly basic foods, but honey has a pH of around 3 to 4, which is quite acidic. This acidity helps preserve the honey and prevent it from spoiling. But why would they do this? What's so special about honey? Well, it turns out that honey has a really long shelf life. It can last hundreds or even thousands of years without spoiling. And that's exactly what happened with the star of honey. It was discovered inside an ancient Egyptian tomb from around 3,000 years ago. 
yet it was still edible. That's pretty amazing. But how does honey last so long? I mean, it's made from plants, right? So shouldn't it eventually go bad? Well, not exactly. Now, you might be thinking that honey is just like any other food, and if you leave it out long enough, it should eventually spoil. Second, honey is quite acidic which also makes it difficult for microorganisms to grow. Third, honey naturally produces hydrogen peroxide, which is a very effective antiseptic. All of these factors combined make it very difficult for honey to spoil. But honey isn't the only food that can last for a really long time. Throughout history, people have come up with some weird ways to preserve food. So next time you see a jar of honey, remember that it's one of the few foods that truly never spoils. Speaking of things that never spoil, how about timeless facts? That's all for now. See you next time.